Inkproducts.com has now released a very new kit, a very new refill kit for the um, Epson printers, the XP printers that use the T410 cartridge. Now, when you get the refill kit or the cartridges, on the refill kit we give you an extra set of chips. They come already marked, what color goes where. You're going to get the glue dots. And there's the cartridge. It's an XL cartridge, which means it's oversized. You're going to basically fill this chamber up, and then it'll eventually it'll go into this front chamber, and you'll keep filling it till you can't put any more ink in the cartridge. It'll hold up liters of ink. That's quite a bit of ink. Now there's the chip right there. You're going to take that little tip off, and then you slide the new chip on, and then we give you these glue dots. You're going to put the glue dot down. And by the way, you don't have to use a glue dot every time you put a chip on. Because they last a very long time. And just slides on, push it on, you're all set. So you can keep refilling and refilling and refilling. And when it says the cartridge cannot be recognized or that it's completely empty, then you'll take it out, change the chip and keep refilling these cartridges over and over again. It's the only way you can do it. Otherwise you have to keep buying the Epson cartridges or poor quality aftermarket cartridges. Here you're going to get Ultra Pro True Color Ink, the Clarion Style Ink. This is a little box I always make up when I'm going to refill. Refilling them are very easy. Like I said, so there's a hole there once you take the plug out and fill it up. Now sometimes I uh, I put a little clamp like that to hold it so it doesn't knock over. And then I can take the syringes that you're going to get, have long, long tips so you can go right into the bottle. Also, on a syringe it's going to say discard after use. Uh, pay no attention to that. These are veterinarian syringes. You don't have to do that. So basically you just go in, squirt in, you can see it happening. You can see the ink is running to the other chamber. Keep going. That will eventually all fill up. Then you're going to fill up the supply chamber in the back. Keep going. Taking my time. And if it looks like it needs some more, I add some more. That was 12 milliliters of That's it. Now we'll take the chip off, and I'll show you how to install the new chip. A set of chips on. And by the way, that's a protective light shield. Because the printers sometimes have a sensing light to see if you have ink in the cartridge. So don't take that, that off. Okay, then over here on this one... You're just going to take, I like to use a little X-Acto knife, and on the instruction we show you which tip to take off. I'm going to take that off. That's the back tip right there. Then the new chip will slide right on. So before you do that, you put one glue dot there, slide it on, press down. Now I have one glue dot, the chip, I lift it up, and I slide it off. Then I'm going to place the glue dot right there where I remove the top tab. Peel and stick it right there. Slid it up in there. If you want to slide it right up in there and then push, push down hard. I already put the glue dot. That'll hold the chip on. Then the next time you just have to, with your fingernail, fingernail, just pick it up, take it off, slide the new one on, fill the cartridge up, you're ready to go. Like I said, you'll get an extra set of chips, plus the chips that are on there. Then you can go to our website and buy any color chip you want. Most people buy black, so you can buy anything you want right there. Very simple. Very inexpensive to do it this way, rather than buy cartridges. So go to inkproducts.com for refill kits that work. And there are any instructions, we're going to go over with you. Right here in the video, then we will show you right here in printed instructions. 
how to take the chip off, how to place the chip on, and then also it will report when you put it in that they are not genuine Epson cartridges. That's correct. We can't claim that they are, so that is a, a warning for the consumer. There again, go to inkproducts.com for the latest in Epson Research Kits.